Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments and Condos, and I'm about to walk into 312 Custer, number two. As you walk in the front door, to the left is a very large living room. It has got to be 13 feet across and probably 14 or so feet long, baseboard heat, but it also has beautiful hardwood floors, and you'll see these things around the apartment. That is your cooling and can also add heat. So you've got two kinds of heat. There's also, uh, it's cable ready, lots of outlets. Uh, again, it's a real big uh, room. And as we walk toward the windows, which are facing east, we look out onto Custer. So you've got a nice front yard. There's a backyard as well. So from the windows, we'll turn back and we'll sort of see the size of the room. And if we walk towards the front door, before we get there, we see what can be an office, a den, or a fourth bedroom. Again, the windows, and the windows are newer too, I should have pointed that out. Uh, windows are facing east, baseboard heat, hardwood floors. This is probably like a nine by 10 room. So big enough to be a bedroom, also a great office or a study. There is a closet in this room with shelves and a hanging bar. And then from the closet, you'd be looking at, this, this uh, bedroom would be best for a full size bed, but could fit a queen. So we come out of this first, I think we think of it as an office or a study because we call this a three bedroom, one and a half bath. We come out of the, into the living room, we go past the front door, and before we get to the rest of the bedrooms, we look at the kitchen dining area. So we see the in-unit laundry, the back door, which many people use to come in. We also have this large area here that can be used both for surface areas and table and other furniture. The last time I was here, there was a four person table in this area. The kitchen is large and very nice, almost elegant, granite countertops, full size appliances, microwave, dishwasher, and lots and lots of cabinets. These windows are facing south. And again, they're newer windows. Lots of outlets around the kitchen, making everything very easy to use. There's also a big, a very big stainless steel sink, so that's easy. Lots of outlets, I said, there is the uh, countertop. The cabinets are basically two feet cabinets, two foot high with three shelves. The shelves are 11 or 12 inches deep, and you've got quite a few of those on top. Underneath, you have drawers, and the cabinets underneath are deeper, so you can put bigger things like pots and pans or small appliances in the back. So that's nice. We'll take a look at a couple of those. Full-size dishwasher, very clean, ready to go, nice to have. I love this sink. This is a big sink, so it makes everything doable. Everything from washing a small dog, which we don't allow, but um, good water pressure, hose attachment for doing dishes. We've just got it on the hot. There's the hot. Water pressure drains nicely. Underneath, I know, is dry and can be used as storage. So there you have that. more counter space, more outlets. This cabinet in the corner is usually a little deeper, and this is no different. You have deeper cabinets here, and then another two-foot cabinet on either side of the microwave. Up on top is a one-foot square, which is just sort of an open space and has an electrical connection and venting for the, uh, for the stove and for the microwave. So we'll close that up. The microwave is newer, super clean. 
full size, nice looking, as is the stove. It's not, I don't think, it's, they're definitely not brand new, but they're only one or two years old. Five burner stove, um, squeaky clean inside, which is fantastic. I think this is a Lazy Susan. So you do have a Lazy Susan down here. We'll get that closed up. And then more cabinets around, which we've already seen. Nice countertop space that is across from the, ki the kitchen sink. So if I back up a little bit, you see the kitchen sink, the stove, huge counter space, storage above, four drawers below, and two sets of the deep cabinets below also, which is really nice. The drawers are just like the one you saw. So you've got four of those. And the cabinets are like the ones you've seen. And you have four of those. So really a lot of storage. The fridge is a nice size. It's not the biggest fridge. I think it's probably about five feet, eight inches high. Freezer on top. Whoops, a daisy. Freezer on top and you can see, whoops. See, can I get that in focus? There we go. Nice and clean. Shelves on the right. Underneath you have a great refrigerator. Again, I don't think it's brand new, but it sure looks new. Butter dish, shelves on the right. You have just a little bit more counter space, another outlet, and another drawer. So really a very, very nice workable kitchen that will accommodate three or four people at the same time an informal sort of four or five person table and has an in-unit laundry. Super nice. So if we turn to our right, we go back towards the living room, past the front door, to our left, whoops, we get to the bathroom and the bedroom. First we'll look at the bathroom, which is super nice. There's some water on the floor because I tested the shower. I'll explain in a second. Nice sink, nice cabinet underneath, tank toilet, some shower rods. So, uh, light fixture there, light fixture there, light fixture in the fan. The fan will really help keep it clean. There is a medicine, oops, a medicine cabinet. So I don't like to be in my own videos, but that's why I'm dancing around the mirror. The tile around the shower and the tub is gorgeous. The shower head's probably about 6'2 or 6'3. Right now it's dialed in for the handheld wand. So the water is coming through there. So when I tested the water pressure, it sprayed outside, which I'm not going to do again. You can see the uh, tub is really clean. The tiles are really clean. I will show you the water pressure though, which is great. This is coming out great. The faucet works beautiful, uh, and it will come out here, but right now it's coming outside the tub, which I don't want to demonstrate. So there's the water pressure and the really nice towel. It's really great to have a ceiling fan that will help keep it clean. Beautiful sink, cabinet underneath, tank toilet, and a medicine cabinet. So that's the bath. Across from the bath is the first bedroom. This is a little smaller, probably a little smaller than the office den that I showed you. Be great for a full-size bed. Probably eight and a half by nine and a half or 10. The windows are facing north, but you still get good light. And all of the bedrooms have very nice closets. Still got beautiful hardwood floors. The closet's got to be at least four feet across with two shelves. It has its own light fixture. And it's probably about 18 inches deep. If I step into the closet, I'm just going to trace the outline of the floor to give you a sense of the size. Again, it's the smallest of the bedrooms, but would still do a full-size bed quite easily. As we come out of the bedroom, we look into the first bath. If we go to our right, we have a linen closet between two more bedrooms. 
linen closet sort of speaks for itself. Two and a half or so feet across, easily a foot deep. To the right of the linen closet is the second bedroom. It looks like we had a student here. It's nice to have two exposures. So one is north and one is west. Uh, baseboard. This would, uh, this would accommodate a queen size bed. And if I go to the far wall and look back, you see the closet, which I will show you in a minute. But this also gives you a little look at the backyard. So, that's the first time I've seen the kayak out there. That's the closet, the door you see, uh, the closet, the garage, the door you see in the uh, building by the kayak. So, there is garage availability for sure. And we'll go check out the closet. Like I said, the closets are nice size in these bedrooms. And this is no different. This is about the same size. Whoops, sorry about the focus. Two shelves, it has its own lighting fixture, at least four feet across. Oh, son of a gun. There you go. And probably about 15 to 18 inches deep. So, second bedroom's nice. A little bit bigger than the first. We come across the hall from the second bedroom and we see the third bedroom, which isn't massive, but would easily do a queen. And if we go in a little bit, we see the bedroom closet. We see another AC unit. Windows facing west and south. The single window is facing south. Um, Sort of the same view we've already seen. If I walk through the window and turn around, whoops, let me see. Show you this way. And we have a powder room, which we will explore in a second. Before we get there, I'll just show you the closet here, which is just a little bit bigger. This is probably five plus, five to six feet across, deeper. This is a full two feet deep, which is nice. And we still have the two shelves and the light fixture. So nice big closet here. Like I said, this bedroom would easily handle a uh, queen size bed. The power room has glass block windows, which is nice in a vent. A nice pedestal sink. There is a towel bar. Uh, you can see the fans working here. Fans really helpful to keep things clean. Medicine cabinet, tank toilet, tile floor, and the mandatory water pressure test. And you can see it's really good. Drains really nicely. So that's good. And the medicine cabinet. And he's got another light fixture directly over the mirror, which really helps with any morning prep work that needs to be done. So I'm going to come out of the bath, or the half bath rather, and show you one more time. And then show you the bedroom one more time. Go across to the second bedroom. And sort of work our way back here, which is nice. The first bedroom, a little bit smaller. The full bath, which is terrific. Come back, the kitchen, which is really marvelous. This is a nice big area within unit laundry. Beautiful, sophisticated um, kitchen. Big living area, big living room. And we have a fourth, fourth bedroom or an office or a den, which is really nice to have also. So that's the apartment that brings us back to the front door. Thank you for watching.